Hello guys and welcome back. So in Angular, there are basically two ways in which a form can be created. It is either a template driven approach or a reactive approach. In template driven approach, we generally use the form tag and Angular automatically interprets as a form and creates a form object for a form object representation for this form. And we can add some other elements to that form object like some controls using the ng model tag and we can also group multiple controls together using the ng model group and this is a very simple way of creating forms in angular we can have the value of this form using the form dot value object that is present on the json representation of the form and then we can use the basic HTML uh, validations for uh, validating those form fields in that form. And if you want to like say for example, create custom validations, then in that case we can use directives. Okay, so this is the template driven approach. Then we have the reactive form approach. And this is a programming paradigm oriented around the data flow and propagation of changes. So basically the form is all created inside the TypeScript class and then it is attached to the form template using some directives that we have, okay? But this is a more complex approach, but then this approach gives you a more flexible way of dealing with validations and you can also dynamically add form fields inside this form okay so in this first section we are going to talk about the template driven forms and then we will have a word regarding the reactive forms and how can they be created okay so in the next section from now we will be having uh, an introduction to basically template driven forms and then we'll also add up multiple features to this form We'll start from scratch and then we'll add on to uh, different aspects of template driven forms in Angular. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.